Hello, welcome to the video. I'm Johnny, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about mini comics and how to make a simple mini comic of your own. So, what is a mini comic? A mini comic isn't necessarily a mini comic, but really, what that's talking about is a world of independent comics in which people can make their own comic books using their own printer, self publish, um, they're able to sell these, distribute them, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to make one. Let's start with just a uh, a simple comic that uses two pages and uh, what you're going to want to do fold your page in half like that and fold it again and uh, if you don't know how to fold just line up the corners like this and hold it line up the other corner and you gotta flatten out from here and you crease that guy Okay, so we have one quartered paper here. Now we're gonna need another one. All right, so now we got two of these guys. What you're gonna want in the end product is piece of papers folded this way. You got the openings at the bottom. Put them together. Eventually these will be stapled and we'll get that later, but first of all, what we have here is the potential to make a mini comic that you can mass produce and how many pages can you work with in here? We've got the cover, we've got inside cover, then we've got uh, page one, page two, page three, page four, inside, back cover, back cover. If you want you can use those covers right here, inside, uh, to add, what is that, six pages of comic? but we're gonna start with something smaller. All right, so now getting into how I would make my mini comics. Here we go. So you can actually just use these papers and uh, even keep them folded. I'm gonna use these as a master copy and uh, gotta zoom in here. Easy way for me to make comics. You need some structure. So instead of making individual panels that kind of float next to each other like normal comic books, this is what I do. You give yourself about a quarter of an inch, slightly measure out these corners here. So we've got that there, that's the start. Now I typically divide these in about um, thirds, let's see, so I'm gonna there. This doesn't even have to be very um, straight, kind of at an angle, makes it even cooler. And I've got potential to put more squares, let's say here, smaller one here, and here. There you go. Okay, so, alright. So now we're gonna need for a comic. Mm -hmm probably a script and we just happen to have a script here all right this helps um, instead of figuring out as you go which you can do uh, it's good to just uh, make just uh, simple plans of what your comic is gonna basically entail and uh, you just begin drawing that So there we have it, um, sketching done for page one. Now to ink this guy. There, all right, so basically you got a comic here and uh, basically just erase this stuff. That's one of uh, one of the pages down here. Now yeah, we just need two, three, four, at least four more pages. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've got the other pages filled for the comic using that one piece of paper that we folded in quarters. When we unfold it, we got ourselves a master copy that could be used for uh, uh, mass producing this, making more copies of it. Additionally, um, got the other quartered piece of paper, uh, and we got the cover here uh, inside. 
another page, info page on the back, and I'm gonna use this as a master copy. Okay, so, all right, at this point, I just need to scan my drawings in. Okay. Be printed. So once I have those on the computer, I can touch them up all I want, format them for an eight and a half by 11 um, document picture thing, you know, and then just uh, take that to a printer and um, get those printed. So once you get your copies of your master copy back, um, this is just the original. I don't have a printer right now, <laughs> but it would look just like this, of course. And uh, you don't need to do double side, it's just all one side. You would just need to fold it like you uh, started with, the right direction, of course. And your uh, cover as well, like that. Okay, so once you've got your copies and uh, all folded and good, ready to go, you just put them together. Now, you're gonna need to staple them. And the, you'll notice that normal stapler doesn't really allow you to reach that far. It's uh, just too short. Instead of investing in a big, expensive, long stapler, which I've looked into, it's not worth it, <laughs> this is what you do. So you take your comic here, you're just gonna wanna fold the back pages in half, and uh, make sure that your staple is going in from the back, so that it's not sticking out, poking people in the hand. Takes a little practice to get it right where you want it. I'm gonna do two staples. And then you, you gotta do it quick though. I'll show you why. <laughs> Cause you don't want this crease too long. <laughs> because you got a pretty messed up comic then. All right, so there you have it. You got yourself your, uh, your mini comic here. And um, you can make these all you want. This is just two black and white prints. Um, so that's about 18 cents each. So we're talking, you know, a little under 40 cents uh, based on where you print these uh, for each one, which doesn't really give you a very good margin <laughs> for <laughs> what you're selling it for. Of course, you don't ever really make a lot of money off of these things. Um, you definitely don't do this for a business, but they're fun to give to your friends. Right, you can actually take these into comic shops if they're really cool. Places like Portland, Seattle, all that, and uh, they'll actually sell these for you and uh, give you um, money up front or commission basis and uh, get them circulated. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make a mini comic. This is how uh, people are basically doing it and you can too. And I hope you guys make a lot of uh, cool comics. See you.